In this video, I will show you how to create this glass card animation. I think it's such a cool effect that you can use for any video. Now, if you want the project file of this tutorial and of all my other tutorials, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. Link is in the description. In this pro community, you will also get access to deep dives on editing. You will get access to clients. You will learn how to get clients and you will also get access to the editing challenge. But for now, let's jump into it. We're here in After Effects and we're going to create a new composition first. 4K, 25 frames per second and press OK. Then I have this cool image. I'm just going to drag that in as a background so we have something to look at let's press t for transparency i'm gonna dial this down a bit so it's a bit less trippy now i'm gonna create the card first so let's go to the rectangle tool click and hold your mouse down and change this to a rounded rectangle tool now the stroke i'm gonna turn off so click on none press ok now let's click on the fill and the color doesn't even matter we can even set this to red or any color that you like press ok and let's just click and drag and as you can see we have our beautiful shape and now we need to increase the roundness a bit set to 130 120 130 something like that is cool i'm going to increase the size maybe a bit to something like this and i'm going to go to align and center this also in our composition perfect and now i'm going to show you a cool trick let's go to effects and presets and add a fast box blur so just double click on that and then increase the box blur by a lot, the blur radius. And then in your layer panel, let's click on this second icon, the adjustment layer icon. And this will already add this really cool effect. Now we can go back to our effects and presets and then we can add a tint to this. Just double click, perfect. Now if we want to make it more lighter, we can adjust the map black too. So we can change the map black to, to, for example, a color, but we can also make it fully white. In this case, I'm going to increase it a bit, press OK, and then we can go to the map white too. We can change this too, to maybe a bit darker, something like this, press OK. Now I'm going to go again to the effects and presets, and I'm going to add a CC light sweep, double click. The sweep intensity, I'm going to set to zero. And the edge intensity I am going to increase. Now you won't really see anything because you can see this blue border. This is our selection. We can turn this off by clicking on this toggle mask and shape path visibility button. And this will make the effect more visible. Let's move the center. Let's increase the width and maybe move it to here. Then we can also add a noise effect. Just double click on this and increase this a bit. Not too much, but it will just add a bit of texture. Let's turn the use color noise off and maybe set this to 15% or maybe even 10%. So we already have a really nice glass container. Now you can already use this. You can add some text to this, maybe even some minimal icons. But for this video, I'm gonna create a calendar. Now I'm first gonna go to the text tool and I'm just gonna click here and type NOV for November. Helvetica no, that's actually fine. Now I do want to select this and change the fill color to maybe a, like a darker gray, so it's a bit less noticeable. And maybe increase the font size a bit, not too much. And then let's also center this, so it's fully centered. Go to the selection tool and maybe move this down a bit, something like this, perfect. I'm gonna create some cool dots that represent the hour marks. So first make sure that nothing is selected then go into the ellipse tool because we're going to make rounded dots. And let's zoom in a bit, hold the space bar to navigate around. And then the fill, I'm just going to make a lighter gray, something like this, press OK. Now the alignment we can change later on. Just make sure to make a small ball, something like this, hold shift. Doesn't have to be too big, perfect. Now I do want to style this a bit. So I'm just going to go to right click, layer styles, and, add, and I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. Now, standard, this looks really ugly. So let's go into the bevel and emboss. I'm gonna soften it by a lot, something like this. See what this looks like. Really, really dope. Now the shadow opacity is also a bit too high. Let's turn this down a bit and the highlight opacity too. So the effect is a bit less harsh. Let's zoom out and this looks really dope. I do think it's still a bit too visible. So maybe we can even press T on the full layer and dial this down to maybe 50% or we can also increase the opacity and changing the fill color maybe to something like this cool now let's go into the shape and add a repeater let's go into the repeater then and I'm gonna go into the transform basically I want to have a bit of space between them something like this maybe and then let's increase the copies we can even set the copies to 20 you will see later why now in terms of alignment you can see here on the left side there's some room that's not the same on the right. So let's go into this transform that we still have open and we can change the position to a bit lower. 
So this aligns a bit better. Now this is really nice. Now I'm gonna add some lines. So let's just duplicate this layer by hitting Command D or Control D on Windows. Then I'm gonna open the shape layer and open the contents. And while we still have this selected, we're gonna go to the pen tool. And then I'm gonna add a point here in the center of this circle. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but trust me, it will come right. Now hold space bar to navigate down. And then let's just hold shift and click again here at the bottom. This will make a cool straight line. Now I'm gonna go to the stroke and set this to a really light gray. And as you can see, the other lines will appear exactly on the right spot. Maybe set this to like a dark grayish like this, press okay. Also really, really cool. Now, of course, I want to make this look better and also make sure that this is not visible on the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate our initial card that we created. Now turn off the adjustment layer icon and also remove the effects that are on it. And now we can rename this. So hit enter to matte, perfect. And we can now use this as a track mat. So let's select the top layers, the circle and the lines, and then drag the track mat to the mat that we created. And as you can see, they will be cut off perfectly. Now what we can also do is mask these lines a bit nicer. So let's select our lines, go into the rectangle tool, make sure that tool creates mask is enabled. And now we can just drag a mask somewhat like this, make it nice and long, and then press F for feather and drag this out. Nice. Now let's adjust the mask a bit. Go to the selection tool, double click on your mask, and then we can adjust it a bit to the top and also a bit below. You can dial it in a bit and look how clean this looks. Super beautiful. Now let's create the time blocks. For the time blocks, I'm just gonna go to the rounded rectangle tool again. Fill color is actually fine. Let's also add a stroke to this, maybe like a lighter white, something like this and press okay. We can always adjust this later on. And then I'm gonna make my first shape Always make sure that nothing is selected. Maybe something like this. I want to decrease the roundness now, maybe to something like 25. And then let's deselect this quickly. And this already looks super, super clean. Now to stylize this a bit, let's right click on this, go to layer styles and then inner glow. Let's increase the size and let's change the color to white. And then I'm just gonna dial down the opacity. It's nice to dial that down here and just have it a tiny bit, right? Maybe on 6%, that looks really clean. Now we can even select this shape, press Command D or Control D on Windows to duplicate this. And then in your sizing window in the right, we can go and unlink it and size it down a bit, not too much, maybe something like this. Let's select this, hold Shift and move this more to the left. Cool. Now I'm not the biggest fan of this double stroke. So maybe we're gonna go into the stroke and disable that and press okay. And then I'm gonna go to effects and presets and add a CC light sweep to this. Just double click. First, we're gonna set the center to somewhat here. And as you can see, it's way too bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the width to 60. I'm gonna set the shape to smooth, the sweep intensity to three, the edge thickness to maybe two and then the edge intensity to maybe 20. Now we can also change the direction a bit. Let's make sure something else is selected so we can quickly see what this looks like. And this already looks super clean. Now I think it makes sense if the background one is a bit darker so this one stands out more. So we can always select this shape, go into the fill and changing this so it's a bit darker. Let's see what this looks like something like this and of course you can give it a color too let's say this is blue and let's say we make this like a dark bluish maybe something in between here just give it a subtle tint and press ok you can see this also looks super super cool now for the text i'm just gonna go into the text tool i'm just gonna click here watch tom's project because you have to put it in your calendar now this is quite a long text so we can make the shape longer or we can make this a bit smaller let's just first select everything command a and let's make this fill a bit more light press ok let's change the font size a bit and i like it small but i also don't want to make it too small it needs to be still in balance so let's go to the selection tool align the paragraph on the left and let's move this a bit something like this and then i can see that this bar needs to be a bit bigger so let's select this and make it a bit bigger in the width perfect perfectly balanced as all things should be let's zoom out and as you can see oh doesn't this really make you happy now what i want to do is i want to 
add a couple of these. So the easiest way is to, of course, select the watch text, the button below that, and the other button by holding shift. So we have these three. And what I actually want to do is move these up a bit by holding shift, so there's a bit more room. And then we can press command D to duplicate this, make sure these layers are above this. And then we can move this, for example, for example, to here. And then again, command D, move them up. And we're gonna move this one maybe around here. Cool. Now I really like the look of this, but of course we still need to animate it. So let's start with the card out first. We have the card itself and we have the mat. Now, ideally I want to animate this with the size. The issue is that if we animate the card with the size, we won't animate the mat with it. So let's open the mat and the contents and the rectangle and the rectangle path. And here you can see the size, right? Let's open the card. It's also a rectangle, rectangle path. And here you can also see the size. Now we can just link these to each other. And then the cool thing is if we unlink the size here and we adjust this, the mat will adjust with it. And as you can see, it will cut off the rest. That's perfect. And this means we can already set a keyframe, right? So let's set a keyframe for the size, drag this out to one second, and then just set the second value to zero. And this will just animate the card in pretty smoothly. Now, of course, we need to select our keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And we need to go into the graph editor and select our last keyframe, drag this out to something like this. So it's nice and smooth, really dope. Now I'm gonna animate the text in. I'm just gonna fade that in. So let's press T for transparency, set a keyframe, drag this out and set this to zero. So this will just fade in, nothing too special. And then when this card is up around here, I want these to come in from the right. So these are our lines and these are our balls. Now of course we can animate them with a position, but what we can also do is open the balls, go into the repeater, and keyframe the offset. And the cool thing about this is that we can literally set a keyframe, drag this keyframe out, set the offset to like 10. We can select these keyframes and then keyframe assistant easy ease. Go into the graph editor and of course select the last graph keyframe and drag this out. And those will just animate in as you can see. And of course we need some motion blur in here. So you can already enable that or you can do that later on. And we can do the same with the lines, same thing. We can just copy this offset over. So command C, go into the contents of the lines, go into the repeater and pasting it on the offset of the lines. Now, of course, we can also animate it differently, but this already looks quite cool. Now, I also want these blocks to animate in. First thing I'm gonna do is select them all and use the track mat feature. Of course, we can use the pick whip tool or we can also select it in here and just use the mat. If we now press P for position, we set a keyframe. We drag this out and then we move them all to the right. You will see that they will disappear, which is super great. It's exactly what we want. Now, of course, select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, graph editor, and let's select the last point and drag that out. Now, as you can see, this looks super cool. What I also want to do is add a bit of offset so we can select the first three layers and drag those out a bit. So they basically come in a bit later. And same with the three below that. Let's also offset those a bit. And then you get something like this. As you can see, it's a super cool animation. And you can literally put anything in this card. You can also change the background out. You can put this over a talking head. And if you want to learn more effects like this, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. Link is in the description. Then do leave a comment of what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe. And then of course, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.